for grappling fans in the Midwest, you're well aware of uh, Neil Fisher. He's a uh, he's a very unique uh, individual, and uh, but really really unorthodox, but really uh, tricky uh, submission game. Um, he has a lot of a lot of leg attacks, a lot of uh, attacks from uh, unorthodox positions. Uh, he's been known to do things such as pull mount and kip up in the right in the leg attacks, um, as well as uh, all of his antics. Uh, his opponent, Johnny Boswell, is, uh, is a leg locker himself. Um, his, uh, his last match with us in 2019, he won with a, uh, a knee bar. Sits. All right, now scooping on the little legs. Right. You use the left leg to get some little bit of space. Johnny's using that underhook under the leg to try to shut that left leg down there. Yeah, he's got around nicely. And now Emil goes for Kamora on the other side. Right. And I'll see if he gets space enough to throw the right leg over the top. down and then move his body back just yeah. a little. Keep the arms high, but the body back. Yeah. Better position for him. <laughs> this is a, a rematch uh, from, I believe, it, it was in uh, 2018, they were either purple or brown belts. Uh, they competed at the Arnold Classic. Uh, both guys actually sent me video of that match and asked to be matched up against each other. because nice. there was an, and I watched the video, and it was a very exciting, very high-paced match. Um, I think they're going a little bit more, a little bit uh, different strategy here just because they do know that it's a potential for a 10-minute uh, match, including the overtime rounds. But, uh, yeah, you can see a good defense there by, by Boswell to, to stop that little leg over the back thing. Mm -hmm. Just put your forehead in the stomach. Yep. Hips up nice and high, which is sometimes counterintuitive to what you might think, but you actually yep. put your hips up super high. Yep. So you can press your shoulders and head down into their hips to That's keep them right. from coming up. That's right. Boswell is walking the arms up here now. So when he mounts, he needs to cross his feet, keep the elbows up high, but the hips low. That, that yeah. keeps those kipping escapes where yeah. they go from moving the legs up and over to yeah. the leg entries, it's what stops them. Yeah, I, uh, I've heard uh, a lot of stories of, uh, of a guy in uh, Henzo Gracie, Manhattan, uh, Shy, who's, yeah. Uh, yeah. who uh, is famous for that. I, yeah. uh, Victor Estima was telling me years ago when he came for a seminar that he, that he asked him to start mount. He was, he was saying, sure, and he couldn't believe it. He was able to kip up and turn into his legs. Yes. Just leg pummel off if that happens. Mm -hmm. The easiest thing to yep. do on someone that you cannot control the hips is just to pummel, pummel your leg off, and when the hips come down, you just remount. Remount. Yep. Yep. And that's, that looks like what Johnny's strategy is. Yep. yep. There he goes. Yep, there he goes. That's exactly it. Goes right back to that north south with the good head position and remount. Yeah, now he needs to keep the arms up high and the body down low. His body should be a little, could be a, a little bit lower yeah. than this, yeah, and then he can. Start to elect to work for katagatamis one at a time. Both arms should he should bring his he hands to the head, so that only he only loses one arm in, when Emil bridges. Yeah, both hands should be under the head right now. Mm -hmm. 
And there's the Katagatami on that right side. Yep. When you have both elbows up like that and you stay low with cross feet, that when your opponent bridges, you're going to have a really good shot at Katagatami. Mm -hmm. Missing his left hook yeah. right now, James. But his left, have, his left hook should be inside already. Neil's doing a good job of blocking with his mm -hmm. leg to keep him from getting that left hook in. Katagatami again. Coming through. Katagatami and Gift Wrap are always right there when someone mm -hmm. is this side on, as long as you have the underhook, right underhook of the top arm. Yep. And if they turn, you right underhook the bottom arm. So yeah. as he turned there, Boswell would have done himself well to have the right underhook engage on the bottom arm. That way, really, you're going through this little loop and it's so hard to get out of it. Mm -hmm. You're going for Katagatami to the gift wrap to an underhook on the far arm to Katagatami to gift wrap on the other side. And it just gets to be crazy. One minute left in uh, regulation here. He's going for an arm lock here. Yeah, he had that right, that leg under the armpit, and that's risky because you see how you just can't get the bite that you need yeah. on the top of his yeah. arm and, went and, underneath there. And he's a, and Neil's going for his own leg entanglement here. And he gets the heel hook submission here. That was, that was impressive. Yeah, very nice heel hook. Actually, had both legs both on the legs inside. On the inside, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You can do that. Yeah. Okay. be more difficult, but this time. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen. 